Well, these are some interesting, unique batteries. You're probably thinking batteries. Well, you know what? These are lithium batteries, actually. Double A lithium batteries, not nickel metal hydride, not nickel cadmium. They're rechargeable lithium batteries. Uh, what is really, it's something, it's a little bit strange about them, like I couldn't really figure out, is that the input voltage on them is 5 volts to charge them. So you got to use this special charger, and the output voltage is 1.5 volts. Now, unlike other rechargeable batteries, these are 1.2 volts. This is a 1.2 volt. Um, this is a good good battery. Uh, antelope, antelope. I think it's by Panasonic. But they're 1.2 volts by default. But since these are lithium, these are 1.5 volts. Now, I, what I think is going on, this is not just a chemical structure that's in here. There's an electronics involved because somehow the input voltage to charge them is 5 volts but what's coming out is 1.5. The power of these, now these are almost 2,000 milliamps, I think they're 1980. Now these aren't rated in milliamps, but if you do the conversion, I think these are called um, 3,000 milliwatts. And when you do the conversion on I think that's 2,000 milliamps, so that's about right. And you really, I noticed that different brands that rate them the same, they don't necessarily last the same. I'm, I'm going to find out how good these are in cameras and stuff. But what I like about them, though, right off the bat, is that they're 1.5 volts to begin with instead of 1.2 volts. That's the only rechargeable battery I know in AA that's 1.5 volts. Now, the other thing is, like I said, the input voltage is 5 volts. So I, was, I know one of these other brands, they, these are made by Jugi, Jugi, J U G G J U G. E E. Um, got them on eBay, and I think there's some other brand that has something similar. The other brand has this outside ring. Actually, it's five volts if you put the meter to it. This one it shows 1.5 volts all the way across. So I don't know how this thing works exactly with the electronic circuitry in it, but you're you're charging it off a USB, and it puts in five volts and it comes out 1.5. It's like so, tell you what, China's coming ahead on this, on this, on a lot of different areas, even in these small fronts with uh, batteries. But I think these are going to be a real winner because they did charge up really fast. They got them when it came in. They, you know, they didn't have a charge in them. It charged up really quick. I'll show you how the charger works. It's got these little lights on here um, when they're charging, and a light goes off after it's charged fully. Didn't take long to charge. Um, now these are the only nickel, nickel metal hydride. These are not. These are lithium now down here. But these, this one up here is a nickel metal hydride. It's a special low self discharge. But usually nickel metal hydride batteries, even though they got a lot of power, they discharge pretty quick, a matter of several weeks, right? And unless you got nickel cadmium, and then you got the problem with the memory effect. Everything's got a drawback. So this looks like this has the best of everything. It puts out a 1.5 true 1.5 volts. It charges fast. It doesn't have the memory effect. And it has it, it can hold charge a long time, being in storage stationary set, you know, just laying around. So now I'll plug them in the USB. I'll show you what the charger looks like when it's plugged in, what they what they looks like when it's charged, when they fully charge. Okay, so we just plug this into the USB, and um, <clears throat> what it looks like when they're charging, you can see these little lights on over here and as soon as it's fully charged that light will go off these will go off and you'll see that's when they're fully charged so it doesn't take long to charge them though that's the other thing so you got a great indicator but you have you know when they're fully charged because as soon as the you know that little white light goes off on the end it's good but the thing is you got to use this charger you can't use something else because it's one it's five volts in so there's some kind of electronic circuitry in here someplace um, yeah, Rexham, matter of fact, it says it right there. 1.5 out, 5 volts in. So, they're lithium. So, I think they're going to be very good. And if you got any kind of uh, electronic devices that have, you know, draw a lot of electricity, um, that's what you want. And, you know, USB charger, common everywhere. You can plug them in your cigarette letter and all that kind of stuff. You know, cigarette letters in your car, you get the little USBs on them. Very simple. So, I think it's a very good idea. I think these are 20 bucks with the charger or something like that. I think it was on eBay. I'm not sure where the hell I got. I forgot exactly what I paid for it. But somebody told me that this brand was just as good as this other brand. That was more money. 
and um, but they're less money. It's Jugi, J U G G E. So you know, search J U G G, J U G E E lithium one um, double A batteries, and there you go. So not a sales pitch, but I thought it was a great idea.